So I'm driving down the highway the other day and I looked up and I saw a billboard that really lit me up. And all it said was one sentence, crypto is social revolution. Crypto is social, re social revolution. In other words, you know, what this is, what this is really about for people is to begin taking responsibility for managing and growing our own wealth, taking it all back from the banks, being able to, you know, rather than like, you know, let's say you get a thousand dollars and you take your thousand dollars and you stick it in a savings account, maybe it, you know, it gets, I don't know, 2% interest or something. You never really see anything growing there. But you know, if you take your money and you put it in stocks and bonds and you trade and you, maybe you put it in crypto, now you're, now you're stepping into power in the sense of being responsible for your own wealth management. And therefore, if that's what I'm going to do, then it's important that I have a plan. What is my game plan? Not only for uh, trading, not only for understanding what my philosophy is, but, but what about my game plan for who I choose to be? Who do I choose to be in my life? And what does that look like? Where am I going? And how do I get into alignment with that person? If I envision who I am 10 years uh, up, up, up the road, uh, I'm looking forward towards the person that I can be in my highest aspiration, in, in, in my most, most fullest manifestation of who I can be. And to be able to like get a sense of what that feels like and what, what kind of decisions am I making and how am I conducting myself and how am I moving through life and then aligning myself in terms of my feelings, my words, and my actions. I think that a, a, uh, a wealth management plan is a part of that overall personal plan. And so, you know, getting started in uh, trading, uh, whether it, you know, you're whatever, whatever the platform is that, that you're using, you, you want to have a game plan of, of like, how am I going to go about doing this? What is my trading philosophy? What's my end game? Rather than just showing up uh, without any plan and just throwing money and throwing money and then turn and, and when that happens, now, now you're, you're not working in alignment with any kind of greater vision. Now what you're doing is you're gambling, right? And, 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 and gambling, uh, there is a tendency for some people to relate to trading as though it's gambling. And that, and, and that is just like trying to figure out, you know, where's, where's the best bet and I'm going to throw all my money in that and see if that sticks. And if that doesn't stick, you know, now, now I'm moving into loss or now I'm trying to compensate for that. And I'm not really being directed by any sort of game plan. And so uh, I like to say before moving into trading or getting involved in, in crypto or anything like this, you know, have a clear plan. One of the things that happens when we, uh, for, all, for all human beings, is when we find ourselves dealing with something that is chaotic and unpredictable, the lack of rhythm and the lack of predictability is disruptive to the nervous system. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. So uh, trading uh, can become incredibly destabilizing to an individual who does not have a clear plan in place that they're following as they move forward. If you allow yourself to get swallowed up by the unpredictability and the chaos of it all, it can be very, very difficult to be able to make, make sound decisions from that place.